Okay, this is another video that I'm doing. Um, this is on hope. Um, but in order to really hear, um, we need to cut out all the noise. We need to make positive steps in order to uh, hear God because he is our only hope. And we will only know how to go if if we cut out all the noise. Um, the way, um, stop beating ourselves with words and actions. Um, or wait, stop beating others with words and actions. Sorry, my dog is snoring. He may be having a dream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, hope implies expectation of obtaining uh, what is desired. Um, the word that I found in, um, from Strong's Concordance. Yes, my dog is having a dream. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, tikva comes from the root word kava, meaning to bind together, collect, to expect, tarry, wait. Um, but there's a portion that's tarry and wait um, for any um, upon. Um, hope is like a rock you can rely on. Um, Jeremiah, and I don't have very many verses. I have Jeremiah 29, 11. And there are other verses. If you look up hope in the Bible, you'll see that there are more. For I know the plans I have for you, thoughts of peace and, uh, I can't, um, and a knowing expectation and, ex and a, a strong expression of faith. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, thoughts of peace in, um, I can't read my own handwriting, to give um, an expected end. Um, so he knows the plans. Um, he knows where, where he wants to lead you and what he wants you to do. Um, for thou art my hope, O Lord, thou art my trust from my youth. And that's Psalm, uh, 71, five hope is something real enough that we can cling to it. Hope is rooted in waiting. Um, when we hope and kind of faith kind of goes along with this. When we put our hope in, in Yeshua, um, he, he will always come through for you, um, unless you're like away from his words and whatever. Um, but he is faithful. Um, like there's many times in my life where I've put my hope in him and he's never let me down. <clears throat> and okay. So today I wanted to talk about this because we live in a world that is visibly going up in flames. Uh, the final battles and plans are being fully implemented, but we still have a hope in, Yah in Yahweh. <clears throat> Life is about searching for truth. It's about learning who we are and where we came from. It's about who created us and how to handle a world um, on the brink of chaos. Yes, we are on the precipice of tribulation. Um, I believe we're in the tribulation. There is still a chance after um, it fully commences, but uh, will be a, a longer harder, more difficult uh, road. Uh, but Yah will provide a way if uh, you go all in for him. He doesn't want anyone to perish, but to come to the truth and knowledge that he is uh, the only way. We must give ourselves um, a thousand percent over to him. He will not enter, um, ever let you down. Put your hope and faith in him and let him guide you. Ignore the outside world and the chaos. Ignore what uh, you're hearing um, externally and listen to his truth get into his word and de uh, decree and declare it over your life that's what you have to do you have to decree and declare his word over your life you have to um his word will come because it says um that his word is a living word um you have to allow it to come off the page and you have to ask him i mean you can pray and ask him to um have it come off the page and to um be different um I have been getting many warning signs. Um, I got a tsunami dream uh, last night, or was it the night before? And then I got a, um, on Facebook, there was a reminder that a year ago, um, I had a dream about the dollar going up and a tsunami hitting um, at the very, so within two days I've, I've had, so I think something big is happening. We also have the eclipse coming. So, um, but if it really goes chaotic um, and everything goes crazy around you, um, if you do not have hope and faith in, in Yeshua, you're going to absolutely freak. If you think that right now you're going through a hard time, what's coming is a mind boggling um, because you're going to see earthquakes like you've never seen before. You're going to see mountains and everything else moving off their foundation. 
you're going to see these supposed underground tunnels and systems underground um, completely disappear. Uh, these bunkers that these so-called people are making, they're going to disappear. Um, and um, these so-called preparations they're doing, um, God's going to crush them in a heartbeat. Um, but we have tsunamis. Um, I had a tsunami dream two nights ago, and that tsunami was, it completely, if you looked out over the horizon, like if that were the horizon, and you could see far off in the distance, the tsunami was, it was basically it, it looked like one black sky and that thing was moving at a incredible amount of speed so if you think you're going to escape this you're full of crap and i've heard prophecies where it was going over Asheville, and it sits at like two or three thousand feet and it was hundreds if not thousands of feet over Asheville. and that's also um like five six hours from the coast so you're talking about and this thing's going to utterly wipe out everything there's it's going to wipe off things off of their foundation so if you think you're going to live through this you're you're full of crap the only hope that you have is god if you do not have god then you will not have hope um the 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 world is fully lying and manipulating everyone the devil is controlling all the movies music and other information being pumped out by the mainstream if you're truly a follower of yahweh you need to shut off all the outside influences they will only lie deceive and make you believe things that just aren't true it's propaganda what they're pushing is all propaganda um, they have ways of using so-called trusted people to push agendas but are um, not even close um, and do not have your best interests at heart um, these people are bought and paid for um, the devil is putting, uh, well, has put um, a lot of people um, over everyone. And the only way that um, you can see through this is to have the discernment of the Holy Spirit, uh, which you can ask to come into your body. I have learned to constantly ask for discernment and wisdom. Um, <clears throat> that's what it says. It's to, um, it says that, uh, to ask freely and God will give it freely. To know what is true and what is not. The war... Uh, the world in our flesh want you to be in fear and anxious and sick. You don't, um, so you don't fight them. Um, when you're in fear and have no idea which way is up, um, that's when he can take you out. Um, that's why he has everyone going after everyone. That's why there's like hundreds of denominations where they're fighting over different pieces. Um, the devil has made so many different things and we have fights over okay, how did the earth begin? How how did this or that happen? Oh, how do you celebrate communion? Um, which sports teams are the best? Which this, that, or the other? I mean, it's ridiculous. When you cut all this other stuff out, um, so, it, so when you exit this world, which you will, um, so does any of this stuff mean anything to you? The only things that should matter are your family, the people around you, your community, your pets, because every living thing has a soul in it, and we will stand before a most holy God one day. <clears throat> and um, so um, they want us fighting re ridiculous things. They want us to go crazy over stupid little ridiculous things. They want us to be angry at each other and to um, not see the truth. Um, the truth is Yahweh. The truth is he is our hope. And in Jeremiah 29, it says he knows the plans and specific things that will give you um, a hope, a future, and expected end. Um, we can put a our hope in him because uh, he will never let us down um, that are full, truly his. Um, tikva is the Hebrew word, which means to expect, to collect, but there is a part that says to wait. In, uh, in the past, uh, many had to wait. It took Noah 125 years to build the ark. It took Abraham um, and a barren Sarah um, to have a son, which they actually ha um, were told to have him as a sacrifice, which he followed through. But they were given a lamb right at the last second. Um, and these and so there were also others there was a guy by the pool for like 30 years and i, I can't remember if it was jesus or it was, uh, yeah it was jesus and he basically asked why why are you not healed or not 
Um, but he basically said that I can't get up and they, and he says rise and, um, but he waited a long time is what I'm getting at. Um, so, <clears throat> but, um, like the Egyptians, I mean, they lived in Egypt and then Moses came along and got them out of there, but they had been living for quite a while. Um, Joseph, um, was kicked out of his own family and given to the Egyptians, um, and he ruled in Egypt, um, can't remember how long it was. Um, it was definitely like not one year. It was like two to seven, maybe even longer years. Um, so there are a lot of, uh, places in the Bible and even in my own life, I've had to wait. Um, there's still things that I wish I had, but I just have to hope and wait, um, like a, for a companion and other things. Um, but we are in a society where we want it now and we don't care how we get it. We don't care who, who we have to run over. We don't care anything. Um, so this is not how we do things. Um, so during this time, we, uh, we see the impending issues and fall of economies, uh, of civil and world wars. We see a complete and utter breakdown of everything we once trusted. Um, we once, yeah, trusted, but God says not to worry and have hope. Um, we once trusted these systems that have been put in place, um, that we would go to the, the grocery store or gas station and be able to fill it up. In the very near future, everything will be shut down. Uh, people will be um, forced to take a certain mark. And if you don't take said mark, um, you will be running for your life. Um, and if you do not have God um, who can protect you, uh, but you will have to die. Um, but it will not be an easy life. You'll be running. Um, you may not have very much of, of any food, um, but it will be a very bad time. Um, but God does say not to worry and have hope in him. Um, he does want to save you, and he does want to work through the tribulation to save more people. Um, but it will be a time where um, demons will manifest um, and be out in force. You'll see robots killing everyone. You'll see giants uh, on the land, and you'll see a whole lot of other things happening. So, but um, <clears throat> he does have a way of providing, and it also says that um, I think it's the Leviathan and the Behemoth. Um, they will die, and they will provide provision for uh, for people. And it also says that God has hidden manna um, in the Book of Revelation. I, it was it was in one of the church letters. Um, so he took care of Moses and thousands of people in the desert for 40 years. He took care of Elijah, who was, um, he was involved in a famine. Um, Esther, uh, Esther, she was, um, they had, a, I think, a famine. I'm not quite sure about Esther. Esther. Um, Joshua and Jacob um, were constantly moving um, and they provided um, them favor and um, provided all the necessary things and blessed them greatly and um, all the rest. They were up against giants, famines, plagues, and more yet um, have lived and thrived because of Yah Yahweh. We too can trust him. Uh, yes, we are at the end. Yes, we are entering into the tribulation. Yes, it's going to get very crazy, but our hope, um, our expected end is in him. And he loves us and cares for us, and we will be okay. Just talk to him, pray to him, tell him what is going on, and he will answer and direct our steps. It may be through others, it may be through our wor world, or it may come in miraculous, uh, miraculous ways. Put your full hope in him and shut off outside noise and dry, uh, delve into his word. So yes, God can provide answers through everyone around you. Um, he can provide them through people that may be your, your so-called enemy. You're not supposed to have enemies, but you know what I'm saying. Um, he can use anyone for his purpose. And what's interesting is, is they don't realize that they're actually helping him um, fulfill what he, he wants. So, um, but yes. Um, so yes, we are in the tribulation and... You need to keep your eyes on him because it says, although I walk through the fire of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Um, so we're going to be walking through the fire, of um, the shadow of death. We're going to have to see things and be involved in things that are going to 
boggle your mind. Um, there is the harpazo, and only those who have forgiven and repented and turned to him and asked him to cover us um, in his blood will make it to heaven. Um, there are very few that will do this, but um, a lot of people say, oh, well, um, I heard today, uh, was it today? There was a video on a person that said, oh, because of um, Jesus dying on the cross, he just automatically fulfilled everything and covered everyone's sin automatically. That is not what it says in the Bible. It says that you have to accept him. You have to believe and receive. And that's this craziness. Also, it is not by grace that you're saved. If you think by grace you're saved, that, um, and then you can do whatever, you're full of crap. If you think that by grace, oh, what's well, this going to magically happen? I, I said I said a, a one-time one prayer, and, and I'm saved. Nope, you're full of crap. Um, and I have learned not to listen to um, the people that are out there in the public eye. Um, those people are the ones uh, who are wolves in sheep's clothing. Um and if you read the Bible and research what they have said, you're going to realize that there are a lot of people that have manipulated God's word. So please be very careful. Please ask for discernment and research everything. Research what I'm saying because, I, I mean, there may be something that I could uh, be different. So thank you for joining me. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.